Hello everyone. My name is Aston Dias and you are at Basic Marine Engineering. Today's topic I want to discuss on problems regarding you know burning of residual fuel. So many a times we have certain problems which can happen because of fuel oil. So let's go into the video and see what are those problems. Again, if you're new here, please go through the other videos and see the different things which we are doing. You can always go through the videos and let me know whether you like it or not. Uh, I will definitely try to improve on it. And if I have missed out anything, you can do mention down. We always like to know more things. And uh, if you have a different problem on your ship, do mention that story. We will also love to hear that story. Okay. Now coming back to the problems, the first problem which we have. Now we can have problems due to a high very high sulfur content now this problem nowadays will not find because the fuel oil which we are using now is not very high sulfur we are using low sulfur oil and very low sulfur in fact and this can also create a problem because sulfur with whenever we reduce sulfur we also reduce the lubricating property which is associated with it and uh, when we're using it at a high temperature especially diesel oil or gas oil should i say and when we use gas oil what happens is there is a problem that it might not have that lubricating property and especially when the temperature goes beyond a certain point and uh, what can happen is your fuel valve and your fuel pump those need those lubricating property because the clearances they are very less and for that reason what we have to make sure is we should be adding some kind of you know additives uh, we also have chemicals available for that so we have to add accordingly what composition uh, depending upon the quantity of tons which is available in the tank accordingly we will have to add those chemicals add those chemicals then if we have ash content in the fuel oil either insoluble or you know either insoluble or insoluble contents uh, it can cause deposits and because of that we can have um, wear happening of piston rings and uh, of liner so we have to be when we have the uh, fuel oil analysis report we should be monitoring all these things the third problem which we can have is if mineral oil is formed due to some kind of uh, condensation because of some kind of sulfur oxides and uh, these are very corrosive ones uh, if they reach to crank somehow it can cause a lot of damage for your machinery also we, if we have incomplete combustion taking place or improper combustion taking place and that can lead to a lot of decomposition on the you know the piston top end area and also that can also cause damage to your liner we also have piston clearing ring for that purpose but sometimes that can still be causing deposits to different places then we can also have a shorter overalling period happening of the exhaust valve uh, or the de deposition is a lot in the exhaust valve and because of that we have to overall it very soon or because of the corrosion that can happen because of your vanadium sodium process which is there this can cause a corrosion which could be present in your fuel oil or you know due to some compounds which are there in your fuel oil or lubricating oil also because of you know fuel oil we also have deposits which can happen in your turbocharger if your improper combustion or your presence of ash compound is there that leads to deposition of uh, deposition of solids or unburnt fuel in your turbocharger and especially in the nozzle area and that can lead to impro that can lead to you know uh, more and more deposits because uh, that is blocking the way and that can also lead to uh, less supply of air scavenge air to the to the scavenge area or to the combustion process and the the effect gets multiplied and the you know deposition starts increasing way more and more also with regards to that uh, we also have you know deposition taking place in your exhaust gas boiler and because of that the exhaust gas boiler foul, uh, fouling takes place and cleaning of the exhaust, exhaust gas boiler has to be done more frequently so you everything is dependent on fuel so you have to be very very careful when you look into the fuel because from one point to another point it it just you know keeps depositing everywhere and it can keep creating problem for all these parts then we also have in our fuel valves you know um, if proper fuel is not there that trumpet formation starts taking place and because of that your spray pattern is altered and then your improper combustion is taking place so all these things keep multiplying so everything is dependent if one small parameter is out one small depositing 
particle is there in your fuel then that can also lead to a lot of problems so make sure that you don't have all these things and if trumpet formation is taking place if you feel if you have a doubt if you see that your when your indicator cards are taken that uh, your you know your peak pressure is not achieved properly make sure you check all these things so that it doesn't create problem because once one problem is there it will cause deposition in your turbo your deposition in your exhaust gas boiler so you have to take care that all these things are taken care into okay this is a small topic hope you guys have understood this and uh, if you like the video please give a thumbs up and uh, do share with your friends and uh, till my next video best of luck be safe and take care